human rights under the color of law. Because if you don't protect these people, I will arm them and teach them how to protect themselves against you. Because it's your Trump rule. It's your DOJ Trump rule that is killing our people. It is a very black man in his city, sir, a suspect sir, in your, which is born in your country. Sir, would you please? We want the police arrested. They ignore the law. Enforce the law. Enforce the law that you took an oath to enforce. I'm not talking to Ted or not. I don't know who gave y'all money, but y'all need to give it back. Because we don't care about your reports. We don't care about your new policies you got going on. They're going to find a way to get around it. Period. They need to be arrested. Period. Thank you very much for sharing this time. Yes, sir. We stopped the drug addict from breaking into somebody's car. They called the police. When the police got there, what they do? They beat up all the black guys that was helping keep the guy down. They broke into the young lady's car. Where's the man on this? We stand here with MSNBC talking about how police brutality in, in other states. What, what about here? What about here? This is a crisis. People do not trust or believe the police. And when that happens, the entire criminal justice system grinds to a halt. They don't convict people who probably shouldn't be convicted because they don't believe the police. Bad things happen when trust breaks down, and that's where we are. The federal militarization of civilian police departments in the United States is a clear reflection of the, of the continuing systemic genocidal killing of black people in this country. Where is Congressman Elijah Cummings, Senator Barbara McCulloch, State Senator Nathaniel McFadden, State Senator Dolores Kelly, I know she lives in the county, she got friends in the city, and City Councilwoman Rochelle Ricky Spector, where are they on these issues? We've got more veteran politicians than you can imagine with 30 years and more who are doing nothing. And, of course, their silence is deafening. They ought to be outspoken, aggressive advocates for justice, but, but the contrary is true. Baltimore City serves as the capital of police brutality in America, with more than 100 of such cases pending for circuit court litigation. The vast majority of Baltimore City's sworn police officers don't live in Baltimore City and don't want to live in a majority black population city. <laughs> Detective Crystal, a white police officer, forced to resign because he blew the whistle on police misconduct, is currently suing the Baltimore City Police Department for wrongful termination, threats, and intimidation. They placed a rat. A dead rat was placed on the windshield of his car by fraternal order of police officers demanding that he stop snitching. Police training is no substitute for jail, no bail. We want these cops to go to jail when they commit offenses. We want this mayor out of office. Get rid of Stephanie Rollins' place because she's a bail. And she's not doing her job to represent our interests. She's been in office 20 years. 20 years. She's been at the city council, was president of the city council. Now she is mayor and Behind to the paternal order of police. That must stop. Leo, would you, would you please share something that